Welcome to the Flat Track Factory. In our last video, we talked about the importance of having the brake pedal in the right spot and why. I'll put a, maybe a card up here and you can go watch that. So basically what we advocated was lowering the brake lever. Most people have it too high. For many people, yes. Yeah, for many people. So then what happens is people fiddle around with the brake pedal, bind things up, and the brakes lock up. And we have, again, uh, thanks for coming, Mike O'Neill, brake engineer extraordinaire. Welcome, thank you. Flat track racer. Uh, we've talked about him a little bit bef uh, before, and uh, we talked him into coming back. Now we're going to take a look at the master cylinder and figure out why adjusting your brake lever down. Uh, well, we, we've already talked about why, but we're going to talk about how doing it wrong right. can cause a huge problem. Right. The main thing that you want to do is make sure that you are always allowing the piston and the master cylinder to return all the way to the relaxed position. You don't want to keep it preload and hold it partially stroked. Let's take a closer look and see exactly what's going on. This is an automotive racing master cylinder, but in how it works, it's just like a motorcycle master cylinder. This right side over here, this is the pressure part. This is the working part that's sending the pressure down to the caliper. This is your outlet port. This port over here is just the inlet port. And this is your pressure seal. You'll notice that there's two ports coming down, very tiny ones. This one's only about 25 thousandths of an inch that goes to the reservoir area. And then this one's about an eighth of an inch. This is the one that does the main filling whenever you're doing your bleeding your brakes, filling it up. But this one, 25 thousandths of an inch, you'll notice that it's just in front of that seal. And if you don't return, let your master cylinder return all the way, what happens? It remains blocked off. Got to make sure it pulls back. Why is that? The only reason that little tiny port is there is so that when your fluid gets hot and expands, it has somewhere it can go. It can expand and flow up into the reservoir. If this is blocked off, when it expands, where can it go? It can't come this way, so it's going to have to go out the port here, down to your master cylinder and push the pistons out. And they're going to start dragging, which is going to create more heat, which is going to expand the fluid more, push the pistons out more, until you lock up your, it's a repeating cycle, until you lock up your rear brakes. And then you'll notice that maybe after it cools down, your brakes will release again. So uh, just got to always make sure that there's no preload left on the push rod of the master cylinder. It's allowed to return all the way. So now I want to show you how you would set this up without making a mistake, uh, particularly in respect to preloading the master cylinder. So if we want to adjust this pedal down, what we would do is loosen this jam nut and thread this push rod further down into this clevis. What we don't want to do is put something over here that limits where the pedal goes, how far it can return. We want, the way Mike has this set up is good and that you can, even if you push it up, it's not being limited by this foot peg. I've seen many times in the track, even at top level professional races, where they make an adjustment and in the way that they do it, either the foot peg is in the way or an exhaust header or something like that and there's a preload held with keeping this partially stroked. Always got to make sure that this master cylinder is returning all the way. Once again big thanks Mike O'Neill. Certainly glad to help. Not um, many uh, channels have this type of insider flat track uh, engineer and racing background guys that will be willing to talk. It's kind of hard like the smarter they are the less I want to talk so I had to kind of needle them. Um, put your questions and comments down below. You know, what, uh, what you guys want to know, sometimes I'm not entirely up on, and I, I get a lot of ideas from your comments. So about now, as you know, YouTube is going to put up some videos uh, from the channel uh, in, the back, uh, in the back catalog you, you might be interested in. And also, as always, you know, click the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't think anybody likes this stuff. Like the video, comment, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Keep it sideways.